Hi, Rat Boy here. What what do you got there? Is that crackers? Today we talk about lenses that don't exist right now, but I wish did. Follow me down the rat hole. All I want is the perfect camera. All I want is the perfect camera. So we got an interesting little experiment going on here. That's a, oh God. We're on the Panasonic G9 with the Laowa 7.5 mil Tone It 2, at uh, Tone It 2 of course, and this has a wide angle. Somebody gave me this. Thank you. Thank you. It's nice. Why is it doing this? Why is it doing it? Oh, the wide angle. It did nothing. It didn't add any anything to the shot. How's the corner sharpness? I think it's good. Oh, I should vlog with it. This is terrible. I'm definitely not going to leave it on the curb after this video. I would never do that. It's a good shot. How's the stabilization on it? Oh, I shouldn't have. Oh, I, I mixed lighting sources. I'm such a professional. This is a good lens. All right, this is not even on my list of possibilities. I'm just, I'll leave. Okay, I made a list of freak lenses that I hope one day somebody makes. They could already exist due to my poor researching abilities. They're probably already top prime selling lenses, but we're on the Fuji X-T4 now with the Samyang 12mm Tony 2 vlogging in my living room. This was my plan. This was the whole perfect camera search. I needed IBIS for this purpose because I was planning on just hand holding all my vids. Just chilling. It's good. See, we can move good. So the first lens that I would like to see, a 28mm Tony 1.2. I fell in love. I think that's the sweet spot. It's a little big. That's the Sigma 28mm 1.4. But this wasn't designed for mirrorless. I'm a little pissed. I don't know if I should keep it or send it back just because the picture on the site, does that look like this thing? No, it doesn't. This one has a, an adapter built in. I w they took a picture of like the original EF lens maybe with no adapter. And now Sigma may, oh, this is mirrorless. It's just an adapter on there. So I want to see it designed. Oh, and it'll be smaller. Same size as that, but 1.2, the glory. Just a little history lesson for you. When you go wider on the focal length, your toniature disappears into the night. So you got to make up with it for a 1.2. For a 1.2. You never see wide 1.2s. 35 is the widest that I've seen that I've looked for. I haven't looked very hard, admittedly. And a 50, I've seen that. 85, I think it ends there. So 28 mil 1.2 for the studio desk YouTuber scrub job. It could work. The next lens that I would love, very realistic. A 15 mil Tony 4 Prime that's super light. You can barely feel, it's almost like a body cap. It might be at that size. That's enough Tony for outside. That's your vlogging lens. Whenever I vlog outside and there's too many Tony balls back there, people complain. They don't want the blurry background. Only the individual wants it. The creator, oh ego, look at me, look at my face. Nothing back there matters. Everything back there is all anybody ever focuses on. I saw, I was editing my own video, didn't even notice. One of you guys posted like, oh look at 8 minutes and 54 and this guy threw a frisbee to his dog and then he fell. I didn't even notice it in my own video because I'm focused on my face. Oh, oh, look at that. Oh wow, you do have a rat nose. So outside is where toniatures go wrong fast. You shouldn't have too much, although we still try to do it. And I will try to vlog with this lens one day. That's all, oh, wow. So there's two lenses, fantastic. You could do an entire YouTube career with that. The 28 mil at home, you need two cameras. You don't want to be switching lens. Dust, I'm allergic. 50 mil for the, the road, I'll leave. Now here's an interesting zoom. You've never seen this one. I've been debating this one. A 16 to 28 Tony 2. Canon's done the 28 to 70. Tony 2, here's the deal. 
This is only meant for YouTube desk videos. And you can zoom sometimes, but you still get your Tony 2 toniature. I'm imagining it's gonna be pretty heavy and you'd only use it on a tripod like this thing. It's so heavy. It's so stupid long too. But I've made a couple videos. The magic is within this lens. You need something big and it doesn't really matter if it's on the desk. It does take up annoying airspace. If I'm being honest with you. It's kind of annoying. It's intruding into my personal space. It's like, back off. But the glory will be yours. This next lens is not for the faint of heart. I've known wedding filmographers to cry after every time using it. The beauty that comes out and you're forced to witness. I created that. My mother said I was worthless. But look, look what I've done. An 85 mil Tony 0.95 with that Tony smoothing element, the appetizing filter. Appetization filter. It's appetizing to my eyes. Transitioning to the right hand so seamlessly nobody noticed it. It's gonna be a big one. It's gonna be a big one. Could you imagine it though? And it autofocuses. Unlike the knocked, the no thanked lens. Stupidest lens. 55 mil Tony 0.95 manual focus only. What could you even get in focus? A bug? You bug ass trick? I'd eat it, I'm a rat. The last lens goes against all practical advice that you've heard prior to this moment. A 14 mil Tony 1.2. Somehow light enough to carry. With a built-in ND filter, one of the lens elements is black as shit. And it's just a good 64 ND in there. You can only use it as a vlogging lens. It's not a landscape photographer loser lens. Out there on your mountain. I hiked out here. I have a tent. I'm gonna make coffee in the morning in the Mountain Dew. I'm gonna take this picture as a reward. Oh no, it's out of focus. I don't know how to manually focus on trees. How do you do that? You're a loser. You know what hurts? That wide angle adapter had a 46 mil filter thread size. I didn't think I had any lenses that would even hold it, but I did the Lawa and this one, the dented filter piece that I can't, I could have had the most glory. I'm putting it on. I'm forcing it on there. Let's see what it does. Oh, wow. That really, man, what kind of adapter is this, man? It does nothing that it should. Oh, it's a lie. The whole thing's a lie. Does it screw on? Even if I got it on there, it would never come off <laughs> and I'd ruin my whole show. Unless it's not ruined. If you did a fisheye correction and then cropped in, we good? We're good. We're on the Olympus, by the way. Did I say that? Of course. Okay, what do you think of those lenses? Are those good? You buy them in my affiliate links or what? What lens is your dream lens? Post it down below. Keep it realistic within the realm of pop. I want a 10 to 85, one point. Shut your mom's dick. I'll go. That's a demonetized. I was so close. I was so close to making money on a video for one time. Oh. We'll make money one day. You buy it. Camera Conspiracies t-shirt. Subscribe for more right now. See you later.